10 Surprising Facts About Whales How knowledgeable are you about the many whale species? It's amazing to see a whale in person. One of the few families of marine mammals, along with dolphins and porpoises, despite having a fish's body, these creatures are mammals in every other respect. They breastfeed their young with milk, breathe air into their lungs, are warm-blooded and have very short hair. What then are some lesser known but fascinating information about whales? Curious to know more? Now let's get deeper into this. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update. Let's start the video. The origins of cetaceans can be traced back to the evolution of land animals. Their progenitors were undulates, like cows and pigs, that learned to forage in salt water. Hippos are the cetaceans' closest living relatives. To begin with, cetaceans are mammals. Thus, they take in oxygen from the air much like us. Their ability to control when they breathe gives them another name, conscious breathers. This distinguishes them from humans, who take a breath involuntarily. If they have to remember to breathe throughout the night, how do they get any rest? When resting at the surface, cetaceans may shut off half of their brains while keeping the other half awake and vigilant to maintain breathing. Their short periods of sleep are used to alternate between left and right hemisphere processing. Bigger than any dinosaur, whales are the largest animals to have ever lived. The heart of a blue whale is the size of a small vehicle, while the animal itself is as long as three stacked school buses. Two distinct groups of whale-like marine mammals are known. Humpbacks and North Atlantic right whales are baleen whales, while dolphins, belugas and narwhals are tooth. Tooth whales have teeth but they don't eat. They catch and eat salmon whole. Instead of teeth, baleen whales have baleen plates. When a whale eats a lot of water and expels it through its baleen, it traps microscopic fish. To put it simply, whales are the only mammals capable of crossing great distances during their annual migrations. The annual round-trip distance for humpback whales between their feeding and birthing regions can be over 10,000 kilometers. Among marine mammals, cetaceans are known for their distinct cultural practices. Common beliefs and practices that have been passed down through the ages are what make up a people's culture. However, numerous cetacean species have been found to have signs of culture, such as sophisticated social systems, communication, and learned behaviors. Numerous phenomena attest to this, including the songs of humpback whales and the use of marine sponges by the bottlenose dolphins in their hunts. All cetaceans do not necessarily inhabit pods. The term pod is commonly used to describe groups of whales, but this isn't always accurate. To be in a pod is to be part of a group of closely related animals. Matriarchal families are the typical social organization for toothed whales, like resident killer whales. Large whales, on the other hand, are often solitary creatures who only interact with one another in the context of feeding or mating. The ability to make and understand noise is crucial to marine life. It is through sound that cetaceans navigate the ocean, locate prey and exchange information with one another. It's true that different cetacean communities speak distinct dialects, and that some have developed complex clicks and whistles that are unique to each member of the community. This might be considered their name, the label by which they introduce themselves to the world. In maintaining a healthy and stable marine ecology, cetaceans play a crucial part in the food web. Blue whales may eat four tons of krill a day as predators. Maintaining a healthy population balance is crucial to an ecosystem's health. Deep water predators and marine mammals eat cetaceans. In a whale fall, a whale corpse descends to the ocean floor and feeds deep sea marine life. There is a direct link between whales and a lower global temperature. How? Excrement! Whales churn up nutrients from the depths and nourish phytoplankton with their waste. Ocean phytoplankton releases oxygen and fixes atmospheric carbon dioxide into biomass. Phytoplankton produces 50 to 85% of our oxygen. Many cetaceans are endangered. Population growth accelerates ocean industrialization. Commercial fishing, shipping, and oil and gas exploration are now more prevalent, putting cetaceans at greater risk. This is it, everyone. So, what do you think? Leave a comment and let us know. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that. Also, put on the notifications because the next video is going to be a great one.